Hello, this is your literacy task for Thursday, 1015. If you are a level one, what you need to do is you need to read or listen to the text twice. If you're listening to this, that means you're on your first read, I'm assuming, or I should say first listen. And then you're going to want to make sure after you've heard me go through this that you listen again or read on your own for the second one. Okay, um, then you're going to want to find and write the main idea. The main idea is what it is mostly about, it being the text. Step three is that you can find and write two key details. Remember, that's two key details, sentences. We're not bullet pointing, right? It's fourth grade. That is three sentences total. The reason there are arrows coming here is because main idea is included in that and two key detail sentences is included in that. So you'll want to use the sentence stems to help you start. Together, these three sentences are a summary. So basically, a summary is your main idea plus two key detail sentences. After you've done your summary, you're going to want to record a video of yourself on your class Flipgrid reading your answers. Answers for this question up here. Okay. There are more directions on that Flipgrid itself. Five, you need to be able to answer question two. This question does not need to be recorded on Flipgrid. So the only thing you need to put on your Flipgrid is your summary statement, which is three total sentences. Your second question is just an extra practice question. If you prefer to do that before you do your Flipgrid, that's fine too, if you wanna get the questions out of the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and read you this article. It's rather short and then below, this is just helping you remember what you need to do for your sentences. This one will give you your summary sentence. You need to just fill in the rest of the sentence. It already gives you the sentence starters for all three parts. I'm gonna probably pop that back up on that page so it's not confusing. This is your second question. That it just gives you another question about the text. It also gives you sentence starters to help you answer the question. All right, text itself. No teeth, no problem. Read the nature article, then follow the directions in the text marking box. So this is the text marking box. It's saying that you can find the main idea and supporting details. You could circle the main idea in each paragraph. Really, I'd just say circle the main idea overall if you find it. And then underline the supporting details for each main idea. I'm gonna just say here that I want you to circle the main idea not in each paragraph. Okay, let me cross that out better. Circle the main idea in general, and then underline the supporting details, not for each main idea, just general supporting details. I'd say at least two, okay? All right, the giant anteater has a perfect name. It's very big and it eats ants, thousands of them a day, and it doesn't even have teeth. The animal's head fits its needs. It has a keen sense of smell. That means it has a really good sense of smell. It sniffs out an anthill with its powerful nose. Then it uses its sharp claws to open a hole in the anthill. Now it's long, worm-like tongue gets busy. The anteater pokes its tongue deep into the hole. The ant stick to it. The anteater snaps its tongue back into its mouth. It scrapes the ants off and swallows them whole. But feeding like this isn't easy. Ants sting the tongue, so the anteater must stop to rest it after a minute or so. It goes back later for more after its tongue stops hurting. That's interesting. I did not know until I read this that it had to stop in between. So here it is. What a strange animal, right? And here's the tongue coming out. So you're going to want to listen again. You can. If you find like one sentence that really has the main idea in it, great. If you can't, then think about what the main idea is in general, because you're gonna have to write it as a complete sentence here anyway, even if you can't find it to circle. You will definitely be able to at least underline or highlight supporting details though. Those are the details that help you find that main idea. And you can use them and put them in your own words when you get down here. So if you haven't listened for a second time, you're gonna to wanna to do that now before you begin this piece. This is telling you, don't forget to use these on both questions today. You need to restate the question and answer it. That's sentence one. Sentence two is 
use a sentence starter and then give your first piece of evidence. Sentence three is use a sentence starter and give your second piece of evidence. Luckily for you, the sentence starter part's already done. So this R, S, and S are already done for you. See? There are your sentence starters. Here, I'm going to bring that up. There we go. So first, question one is your summary. Finish each of these sentences because, like I said, sentence starters are there. Okay. The main idea is, so you're telling me what the main idea of the article is. In general, my first detail is, remember, if you highlighted a detail, you're going to want to try to put that in your own words. Just swap a few words around so you can make sure that it is your wording. Then the second piece of evidence is, so what is the other piece of evidence that helps you know what the text was mostly about? After that, you can go and do your flip grade if you want, because your flip grade is just reading this and the title of the article. No teeth, no problem. But if you'd prefer to do this and then go do your flip grade, that is also fine. Question two is your short response. The question itself is, how does an anteater feed? Use the text to find your evidence. It tells you quite a bit of detail about that. So pick what you think is the most interesting or the best. So the ant eater feeds, feeds by doing what? And then tell me more about that. The text says, blah, 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 blah. The text also states, so three sentences about how the ant eater feeds. Okay, this is just like a very general statement. This gets into the more specific examples of how it feeds. Okay, and that's it.